Well, morning, fellow zombies. Are we sleep deprived yet? Are we emotionally screwed up like everything else and everybody else? <laughs> we were John C. Roseman in California. Dare you the Raven named John Weaver, which will be me. It's May 1st, <coughs> 2023. <coughs> and it's 4.52 in the morning if I can get my throat working right. All right, you don't want to hear something that's going to be horrific. I mean, absolutely bloody horrific. You wonder what it might be. Well, remember last, actually about a couple of months back, when I had issues regarding my wrist. There was a sprain muscles over here, and you know I was trying to find information uh, uh, what it's going to cost me and how I get my my wrist taken care of, and if it's in a true me medical emergency. And yes, it was hurting like crazy. However, I could have stood the pain for a bit. Um, I would have had it taken, or at least walked over to a nearby bus station with another brace on. The earlier brace that wasn't working very well, but still I needed one anyway. <clears throat> and I would have had to wait until 8 o'clock until my urgent care would open up and then I would the plan was to go into that particular urgent care. I got talked into it and I had to agree to this damn thing, which is costing me about 900 freaking bucks for this damn shit. Of an ambulance trip over to urgent care, but not the Kaiser urgent care, over to the hospital. <laughs> so now the ambulance trip and the radiologist over there are both charging me. I looked at the insurance. I'm not supposed to be paying this stuff, right? But according to the uh, explanation of the benefits for Kaiser, <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe at the end of this year I'll be shopping for another insurance company. Because I gotta find out exactly what I'm gonna get hit and not hit with. I should have just waltzed right under the urgent care, have them take a look at the damn wrist, you know. Give me the brace if they actually had one over there. And then go home. But no, I went over to the urgent care early in the morning. And I had to wait for a few hours. I couldn't believe it. I'm in a fucking ambulance late at night getting over there and spent a few hours over in urgent care and then I'm out of there. I had to go over to the Rite Aid across the street to get um, medications. I'm supposed to have medical insurance, so I don't have to pay for it, at least not as much. But depending upon any medical emergency or the doctor stuff, if we have to go for preventive medicine, at least it's not all that much. But when it comes down for emergency situations, they cost. They cost a great deal. It's one thing being seen in the ER, maybe about $100, $150. <clears throat> but this was urgent care. At least the hospital didn't charge me on that one. I've been... Ever since I've been getting the bills from the ambulance company and then three or four weeks later I get it from the professional doctor, which is the radiologist, for reading my x-ray. It's an arm and a leg. It's almost $700 just to read my damn, uh, damn x-ray. 700 At least they ruled out nothing broken. But I would have been able to feel anything not broken in there. But I was hurting inside the wrist over here. Simply put, this thing was stretched somehow. And the muscles in here were getting torn and <clears throat> hurting like crazy. Oh, they did prescribe medication for me in the form of over the counter Motrin. <laughs> 
Motrin really doesn't work well with me. And I'm still discovering that some of the Tylenol stuff I'm getting right now doesn't exactly work for me either. But I'd get the ice breaks and i get the braces on and less mobility on, the thing, on it. But then afterwards I'm supposed to get some mobility on it. It works fine right now. I mean, there's almost no pain to it. Slight, very slight in here, but that's about it. And I still sleep with a breast brace. I mean, a long time ago. When the keyboards came out, and everybody is pounding on the keyboards on their new computers and stuff like that, there should have been, and it's a long, long story on this one, and an ongoing issue. Uh, give me one second. I'm just going to put you on pause for a second. Okay, so, what the hell was I saying? Uh, the bells. And what I was going to do. Oh, shit, I just bloody forgot. I hate it when it happens. I was trying to retain the thought, and sometimes you get the serious left and right. But things happen like that. But braces and tablets. Yeah. But speaking of tablets... Tablets also remind me of electronics. Electronics remind me of keyboards. So, those nice, lovely keyboards that you have on your laptops <coughs> and on your mainframes, compared to the touchscreens on your smartphones, these are the things that we have to deal with. Okay. And dealing with monsters like these. And dealing with the computer equipment here. They came out with all this stuff. But the problem is they never came out with uh, safety. It takes them a long while to figure out what's going to be safe, what's not going to be safe, what's going to be killing your wrist, what's not going to be killing your wrist. And at this point, it's killing my wrist. Growing up in that fashion. You know, we had a plunk like crazy on the manual typewriters. The uh, Selectric typewriters that they came out with the IBMs. Just light touching and you could see the ball go <laughs> all over that damn paper. So we have that. Uh, well, what they didn't count on is other people just pushing as hard as they can on keyboards and no wonder they're breaking the damn things up because... Sometimes they need a lighter touch on the keyboards and not just like I was taught a long time ago. I mean, just oh my god, I was killing my wrist back as a junior high kid. Didn't realize I was going to get repetitive motion problems on both wrists. So, let's see. I'm working at the call center for mail, which is medical insurance. And because I work for a medical insurance company, I get benefits. But I'm also getting problems concerning about how many times I keep pounding on a damn keyboard, just getting that information now. Just. <laughs> I'm researching for you. I'm just researching for you. I'm not supposed to put you on hold, but I got to research for you. Yes, I found your claim. Yes, I found your benefits. You have no benefits. You suck. Ah, oh, but your claim was rejected because you suck. You're trying to file for optometry and you filed for dentistry. I think you're a scam artist. Well, that's putting it mildly. But, uh... It got to the point where the pain was shooting through here. On both wrists. And sometimes I had to take some time back just to do this. Because my wrists would be sore as hell. And in order to have myself looked at, I had to view it as a workers' comp situation. <coughs> little did I know and little did I realize at that time this was an ongoing long-term illness and injury, uh, not illness, but injury, happening during that time. Repetitive motion. 
That's what they called it. <laughs> but they called it tendonitis, actually. Excessive wrist, repetitive motions on it. You're repeating the patterns left and right, so you're not giving your wrist enough time to uh, relax or do anything. And uh, without proper stretching exercises and icing it down, uh, you're definitely in problems. That I was told by the uh, therapist and the doctors. But here's the thing. In order for the doctors to rule out carpal tunnel, we must have electroconductive nerve graph. Let me repeat that again. Electroconductive nerve graph, or nerve study, if you want to call it that. Okay. You get a device hooked into certain points in your arm. And when they zap electricity through it, I kid you not. It's either Walters or Volters or one of those two that they're that they're pumping into the nervous system, that the brain's going, "What the hell is going on here?" And these wrists are reacting as the electricity is going through the system here, going up. They're recording the response time, the reactions left and right. They're trying to see at the time, and probably still are of what the muscular damage is, if there is any, or if there is any nerve damage as well. The next, and the worst, is you get steel needles and they shove them in different areas of the arm and they're recording the pain, the nerves are re, are reacting to the intrusion into themselves their chemical react electrochemical reactions are going up and down the arm but worse into the head saying kill this guy i was lucky enough during that time i had my brother with me he kept saying john said a serenity prayer so I'm like, God, grow me serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Current state of thing I can't, it was no difference. Oh, dear Lord, please let, let me not do anything stupid and rash around about now. Relax. I can't relax, Dave. He's killing me. And the thoughts keep going through my head saying, just turn around, Dave. Just turn around. Just, just let me, just let me starve this pain one way or another. In a reality check, they needed that information, as painful as it is, to see how much damage there still is in there. And because I had did a lot of damage to the damn thing, what I ended up was having about a month worth of physical therapy, learning how to stretch the damn things out every so often. Once in a while, I, I have to keep doing these. And right here is where it's starting to hurt even worse. Well, when I'm starting to use the phone more and more, I'm stretching this muscle out even further, so it's da it's doing some damage and heat information here. It's weird. If I put enough pressure on these damn things, I'll start hearing my bones creaking and crackling in here. I know, it looks weird. This is nothing about muscular dystrophy or anything. This is just shaking awake the wrists to make sure that I'm not going to be crimping or cramping up. Even for, if you do, I discovered if you're doing gaming on these keyboards. You still have it. Now, the thing is, what I hadn't ordered 
which I should have been ordering at this point over here, was getting me a damn wrist pad. Now, I had to get one at work. I had to get one at work. Because if I didn't get one at work, I wouldn't be able to deal with it. So I need to see something. It used to be, you know, they sell these long ass mothers. But these damn things I still need. Even when it comes down for using a mouse pad, I still need it. Now, I'm using a mouse all over the damn place. I'm using these mouses all over the place. But what I need, actually, are the tools necessary for them. And I'm going to be going through a lot of excess cash. Like maybe, I don't know, it's going to be taking me about 20 bucks just to get me a one. <clears throat> All I needed was a just a wrist pad here to lay my wrist on. So if I'm going to be doing a lot of keyboarding, it's one thing. But I'm using a lot of mouse, so I need a wrist pad for that. And they come out with those. They've already been having those things for a long while. I just hadn't bothered. But I know if I happen to keep up with the keyboarding and stuff like that, I'm going to be needing them. But I just wanted to see if they're out there, and there's plenty of them out there, but I'm going to need that stuff. Now, as for dealing with myself, ah, <sighs> uh, what can I say at this point? I mean, I've had the wrist issues. For a long while, I'm still going to have the wrist issues for a long while. I'm not about to get myself put through another damn test again just to see how far my muscles and wrists and nerves is screwed up on. I'm not killing myself on that one. What I am going to be doing is taking care of things that I need to take care of. Now, as for the uh, bills I've got, we're going to have to do some finagling today or tomorrow. I'll have to call the offices and see... What can it can be done for at least partial payments? Can they take 50 bucks a month for the damn thing? Or do they want the whole damn lump? And that means I'll have to find me a damn credit card source and use that to pay them off. But I've been saving on the credit card source for my dog and her medical injuries. That's the main thing why I got the thing in the first place. So now... I gotta handle myself this way. But I also figured one more thing. <clears throat> Deductions. Hear me out on this one. When filing taxes, and you're doing a standard 1040, this is what I've been learning throughout my life, they do take into account of medical deductions. Well, that's good, because I'll be needing to put that in there, too. Okay, so I'll have to figure about that one there. Pay off the card because of the tax situation. <coughs> Pay off the card because of the... Uh, well, at least my didn't use it. She was uh, somewhat all right during that time, but still. Uh, one more creepy thing. If you happen to see anything crawling around left and right in this place. I'm still fighting the bug war. I still got the Orkin guy coming over to drive us crazy, so that's going to be real fun. <clears throat> and I still need to find a place to store receipts, so just in case, if I happen to uh, get into any more financial situations, I'm going to have to, um, you know... Save them for deductions for next year. But I still got to pay for them, though. But this is real life. I haven't been triggered yet. I've seen a few things. And I know they're going to be triggering me left and right. But for right now, this morning, I'm still waiting for my bag to stop throbbing. And I need to get 
a few things taken care of before the organ guy gets over here. So this is just me laying off some steam. Besides the political stuff happening these days and a manhunt going out in Texas, still they haven't found the bastard yet. <clears throat> They haven't found this bastard yet. And a state that values its guns. You know what they value more? Keeping their damn guns while people are still killing themselves. And not to mention some of the other states as well. Tennessee, Virginia, the Carolinas. They all like their guns. They all want their guns. And it's the guns that are killing us. No, they say the people kill them. The people are killing them through the guns. <clears throat> I don't even know how we're dealing with these things. Anyway, that's my venting for this morning right now. <clears throat>